Hello everybody, this is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineer ship review video. This time, we are reviewing something very cool, and it comes from our good friend on the ch Discord, Lord Zog. Now, Lord Zog has put this up on the Discord recently, <laughs> and uh, this, is, this is from a while back. This is before I did the Battleship video, and he dropped this thing out, and I hadn't seen it yet. And I immediately went and looked it up, and it's uh, actually a pretty cool ship. This is an ACC Insurgent Class Battleship Hangar V. Uh, not no description on this, which really doesn't need it. It uses all the DLC blocks, and, and I've already given it a like. But we're gonna check this out. Lord Zog put this up on the Discord, and we're gonna just check this bad boy out. So. Look at this thing. It reminds me of another carrier that we once had on the channel Let's see if i can find that carrier if we have it here yeah it, it kind of reminds me of the europa or the callisto class because of the forward prongs here in the front but he is lord dog has taken a hyper aggressive look to the front of this thing like i i will scoot nail your butt to the wall and make you sound like a well make you sound like a hentai chick but <laughs> this just this just screams you're you're gonna have a bad day but the cool part about this ship is just the absolute crazy number of guns these things look like right here these these custom turrets they look like old star wars turbo laser batteries on like a star destroyer like the like a smaller version of those they just look amazing we've got several more cannons on here plenty of gatlins we've got a lot of these hybrid gatlin assault or auto cannon quad auto gun twin gatlin gun turrets so these things can just throw all kinds of things if the get if the auto cannons won't get you the minigun rounds will as you can see we've got these nice thruster packs in here all well nice nicely and well hidden in their own deep little crevice so this is something that's been really thought out and how to protect it. We've got more custom auto cannons and a set of custom railgun turrets, both top and bottom. This thing can just give a punch to anything that gets too close to it. And this is this is more of like a big ship, like you would put into a group of people. We also have a landing pad on the back here and a hangar in front, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, we have a small control or uh, control seat here and I thought I thought the ship was just like a big drone or something you could go in because it took me a while to find the the door <laughs> we'll we'll find that in a minute but we got this neat little system here where you can attach either a ship with a rear facing connector or a downward facing connector or both if you've got those and we have this really cool thruster pack here which is just amazing it looks awesome when this thing just lights up and you've got this big cone of fire coming out the back but going to the front to where this big aggressive spot is this is where you've got a series of drones that can come out that are i believe you can actually just control them and then come out and do some minor repairs to the entire ship we also have docking clamps on each side with welders to keep everything welded up and keep everything running now how do you get in this ship because i know plenty of people have probably looked at this thing and wondered how do you get in badger i haven't seen a single door well that's that's something that's interesting too that seems to be a pretty cool security feature so instead of having a door just flush with the entire ship that you just you know jump right out into space and it's easy to find you have to go over here to this nifty little spot and we kind of do this old school style. We got a corridor you can hop out on and, and walk around the ship with. So we have this small platform. You can walk over here. Push this down. Unfortunately, we have depressurized this room. There we go. We got our nice little rack of suits and everything. And then we go into here, which is the main body of the ship. So. Before we go everywhere, we're, we're going to have to clear this room and clear it, uh, clear the ship a specific way. This thing has a very nice interior. First, we'll go up here. 
And one of the things I want to say is, somehow I missed this block. I did not know that there was a block here that made your that could make a room look like you were a, a pro video gamer or something. Like, here I am making YouTube videos right now. <laughs> I wish I had a setup like this. I really do. This is apparently some type of um, sound block. Sort of like the jukebox, only this is more like the entertainment center block. So it's like the jukebox is like the cheap thing you get. This is like what you get when you become a pro. Uh, well, th this, is, this is the setup I'll have when the channel gets to like 1 million subscribers. We'll put it like that. It's got a couple of... It's got lounge chair, bookshelf, plant, a couple of place for coffee mugs and things like that. It's a nice little lounge area with a couple of pictures. Really cool. Really, really cool. We got plenty of gun storage because you need all that stuff in this room. And we've got all kinds of toilets with privacy doors. I was just looking through here, just checking things out. There's probably some doors here that I forgot to shut. Oh, we have a nice little projector block here for projecting stuff on this little screen right here. And we got a nice little turret to defend the inside of the ship with. If someone jumps in here and just gets shot. On top of that, we got a nice set of couches, access to the storage. We've also got more suit storage, all that good stuff. So before we go any further, let's go into the back here. And we're going to check this area out. So I'm going to do this with the jetpack because there's a lot to see on this ship. I'm telling you, Lord Zog is Muslim Moonlight is an interior designer. So here we have the first of what I believe is two yeah two reactor rooms at first I, I dropped down I was like oh cool there's a reactor room and then I start flying back up and I'm like oh wait there's a second reactor room so yeah we got batteries we've got two massive re two massive nuclear reactors here on either side with an oxygen tank going up to a series of pipes just an awesome little room and also there's another thing when you hit this thing to full power these vents are going to open up and it's probably going to make a whole ambient area nice easy to move around because this is a battleship, everything should be nice and big. It should be open. You should be able to get through it very easily. All right, we're going to head here. And we're going to go down a couple more. And here we are at the bottom. As you can see, secondary room. Same exact setup. Two large nuclear reactors. Plenty of batteries. And since they're stacked on top of each other, even if one engineering room gets hit, the other one is on the bottom or on the top, it's very unlikely you're going to hit the other one. So let's continue back up here real quick. And we will head out. Also, that's that's just a ladder for the other side. It goes all the way down. It's the same exact as the other one. So I mean, a lot of redundancies in here, just in case... Let's say a railgun round rips through here and tears that area up to where you can't hardly get through it. You've got another way to get through. So continuing on, we're going to go through here. Which takes us into this area of these two rooms. We're going to go here first. <clears throat> so you guys can see we've got a nice medical bay. Looks like a sterile environment. Also like how this window has been put in. So you have this kind of asymmetrical looking window. <laughs> Going into it. it actually looks cool. I never thought about doing that. So, pretty awesome on that aspect. Like I said, Lord Zog must moonlight as an interior designer because the interiors of this ship look amazing. The outside looks cool. Don't get me wrong. The outside looks amazing. But then you get in the inside and you're like, holy crap, there's so much detail and thought that goes into this ship. It's it's just awesome. So we got all the good stuff. We got the new block for medical and all that good stuff. So, if you want to respawn, this is where you're going to respawn at. Just an awesome, like I said, just amazing stuff going on here. We also have this nice bar with a door you can drop down. Back here we get the sink blocks, we got the cooking blocks, we got the coffee block because we all need the cosmic coffee while we're out here working late on the battleship. And we got another nice little grill over here and a nifty little bar with a sink, as well as plenty of lounge area for everyone to lounge around. And just chill with. Like I said, this ship could just jump. Also, cargo containers everywhere. There's something else I like about this ship. So I'm, I'm going to harp on this a little bit. Having a cargo container that you can just access at any point in time that just accesses all the ship's cargo, amazing. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I have hated ship designs because I will start to use them and you will end up with an area where you just don't have a cargo container. You're going to see this again here in this room, which uses these the new bed blocks. And you can see here, we've got room for, let's see, 
well over, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight individuals up there. And even more down here. It's just, this is just a bunkhouse. If you think this is bad, you should see what a real battleship is like. Sounds like some experience talking. Yeah, usually usually military ships are pretty Spartan, except the Monitor in the Civil War. The Monitor was actually a was the probably the only example I can find of a luxury battleship, because it was designed for war. But the guy that made it actually put like velvet seats and stuff inside of it. <laughs> if you ever read up on anything, then the South's Virginia class was just like a it was just a wooden barge with a steel cap on top of it and a bunch of guns sticking out. It's wild. I'll have to do a video on those. <clears throat> anyway, once again, you got some cool stuff here. You got access to a vent. And I thought... Well, I guess not. I guess we didn't have access to anything in here. But as you can see, we've got some really cool... Like, plenty of space. This is where you could like, bring your entire crew of friends in and y'all just start going at it. Not... Not not like that. Not like that. Just you know, go at space engineer stuff. Not, I'm gonna f I'm I'm gonna quit now. Let's go to the next room. <laughs> We're gonna go down a hole. <laughs> anyway, uh, we kind of skipped a room. We're gonna go in here. If I can get my character to go down, 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 down. There we go. So in here we've got two interior turrets. If any, this is the main bridge. Got all our blocks and everything. This is this is a cool. This is when you think about how you want to make things look. Hop into the the cockpit here for your ship, and you can see all kinds of stuff. You can see your readouts. You can customize these screens. Obviously, we can customize all these screens. But then you can have you can see your programmable blocks working. You can see your ship deal. And this is like a readout. I've messed around with this before. Showed you all this thing. It it's amazing. If you want to see what damage is happening to your ship and know where it is, you can coordinate with other players. So just a cool little script to have on your deal, and it's pretty easy to upload. Just got to figure out how to get it like this is the hardest part. But yeah, in this room, we've got all this other stuff. I think we've got access to... Let me check here. We should have access somewhere here to some basic turrets, but if not, eh, it's okay. We'll just set the turrets and just go to town. I wonder, is the turret access and control in here? Yes, turret access and control is in here. We have access to all the hydrogen. Wait, there's... Where are those at? What What is that? Let's do five. Where is that at? So I don't know if y'all see this, but we've actually got an extending docking collar. That is cool. That's why there's a frickin' um, that's why the welder there is so important. Oh, that is neat. <laughs> that is just awesome. And I'm guessing the other ones on the other side as well. That is cool. Yeah, see, I've I've thought about doing this before, but I've never actually seen it in practice. That's actually pretty neat. So we've got. Good lord, we've got all this good stuff going on here. Like I said, you got all your turret control blocks. I wonder if I can just take control of the turret here. Alright, dorsal gun camera. Where is the control? Let's see. Oh, oh, we got the big guns. Oh, my god. That would annihilate something. That would give somebody a bad day. So we have just straight up access to the turrets. Whatever whatever big gun turrets you want to access, you just jump in here and grab it. Awesome. So we'll hit this again and go down to the very bottom. We hit an auxiliary control room here where we have access, or we can just access, I guess, the other turrets with a crew. So you have a massive crew of people on this thing. Several, several players. This is like if your entire server decided to do last stand, this would be the ship you would use, or one of them. This would be your main mothership working at it and doing all that cool stuff. It also has a down underground area which is actually really well built which is amazing and you got all this extra stuff going on more turret control blocks and see uh, can I just run over here and just jump in 
Okay, okay, okay. Let me go down here. Let me try this. What is this thing? And... Oh! Yeah, that's one of them quad turrets on the outside. That is wild. That, that I like. I like that a lot. <laughs> I like, I like wicked anti-air turrets. Just the idea of a hail of gunfire is just awesome. So we enter in here, and this is where primary storage is at. We've got at least four large cargo containers, so plenty of cargo. And from what I can tell, I think we have... Yeah, we've got access to some refinery capability, and we've got two assemblers. Let's see, there's a nice little nook in here with some extra storage. But on up here, we have both of our assemblers. You've got access here, access point there, and then you have this door which opens up, and you do want to shut this door because we're going to drop down here. We can go in through this little corridor. No, the alien is not going to pop out. We're not going to run into a xenomorph problem. But going up through here, you can access what is a series of drones. And this is the cool part about this ship. It has its own drones. So you can see right here, we've got access to cargo. Uh, this is originally going to be a guided torpedo bay, but I couldn't get the new AI blocks to work. I might upload a version with the torpedoes later, but for now, have a little hangar. Yeah, this, this is... Honestly, having a couple of repair ships inside of your ship, awesome. I would, I would almost just get rid of one of these and make a mining ship out of it, so I can just move back and forth and mine. But then you've got the other landing pad. we got plenty of storage, uh, plenty of explosives in here as well couple uh, programmable blocks, all that good stuff. <coughs> um, yeah, just real nifty, nifty things. Let's uh, let's see what we got here in terms of stuff. The pressurized mini hangar doors. We are going to open those up. Now, is this just a remote? Oh no, no, it's not just a remote. It, it, is it a remote drone? I thought this was a remote. Is it a remote? I guess it's not. Oh, you can just take this thing and just jump right out there with it. Let's, let's do that. Oh, cool. So it's probably not a remote drone. This is something that you can actually just physically jump into. Let's see, what camera do we got on this? We've got a forward camera so we can see what we're doing. Okay, and number six is a, I'm guessing a rear camera. Yep, that's a rear camera, so we can lock ourselves back in. Where's that rear camera? Okay, it's right there. So we just have to get it right underneath it. And so you have this small little repair ship. You can run up there and just do some work on. You also have locking landing gear. I don't know what this is. I don't know how that works. Hmm, okay. But anyway, awesome, like I said, awesome ship. You can just kind of see right there. This just mega size just battleship that you've got. That makes everything just look way better. And like I said, it's just a super aggressive kind of a battle carrier. I mean, it is a hybrid ship, but it's got some neat features. Like I said, the cannons look awesome. This is this is something you would, like I said, you take with your friends. Like if you had like several buddies, like ten or eleven friends that wanted to play Space Engineers with you online, and you can get the guys in there and do the survival scenario, where you just take on endless waves with just this, and just drop this in and try to defend with this thing. It would be awesome to see done. I'm not gonna lie, might do that. I might I might take this thing with some friends. In the future, we may have to take this thing and see what we can do, what we can defend with it at some point. We may have to test this thing out. I don't know when I'll do get the time to do that, but <laughs> either way, awesome ship. Like I said, anyway, folks, hope you guys enjoyed this ship. Hope you enjoyed the build and all the features of this. And uh, if you guys could get on the Discord and give Lord Zog a nice little thumbs up. <clears throat> on his build tell him we all appreciate it and uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description there's also a link to it in the discord if you guys want to check it out and as always my name is Badger Wild saying stay safe stay frosty and I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye for now